and he was standing there and there was this woman inside and he was on the outside and he had his arms out. He was, and at first I thought they were just messing around and then it became very obvious because I stopped there for a few moments that this guy was being very intimidating and he was kind of bullying this, this woman. And uh, I just stayed there. I thought I need to sort of keep an eye on this. And uh, I stayed there for a while and I, and I thought, should I say something? And so I thought I'd better just watch. It doesn't, nothing major's happened. And, and after a while, it, it gradually, they, they were obviously having an argument and things was, were getting a bit heated and, and it, it went on and went on. And I was there for about 10 minutes, in fact. And right at the end, he started to push her around. And I let me say, on the outside, this guy is a giant of a man, and I'm only a small guy. And on the outside, I'm thinking, oh dear, I don't, um, if I say anything to this guy, I'm going to get a punch on the nose or something. He's going to really beat me up or something. But on the inside, I just felt, I need to say something, because I, need to, I was worried about this, this woman. So in the end, uh, it was getting a bit out of hand, and I, in the end I said, is everything okay there? And I just walked up to these people, and of course, um, he kind of turned around and uh, gave me a filthy look, and, you know, um, what's the problem? And I said, you know, you seem to be uh, holding this woman in the doorway, and it's not right, you know, she's, she's wanting to get out, and you've been stopping her. I've noticed you've stopped her, and then you start, you know, giving her a hard time. And uh, he said, this is my girlfriend. So he then does that uh, as he steps out of the doorway, as much as say she can go and she can't. So she shot out really quick. So that's good, she's out. And then of course he's facing me. <laughs> Something, oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can just imagine. <laughs> Been rolling on the floor. And uh, I thought, well, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. And he says, you know, can't a guy have an argument with his girlfriend? So I said, well, that's, that may be so. You may be, it may be your girlfriend, you may be having an argument, but, you know, you were intimidating her and you started pushing her around. I said, that's not right. You know? And so he started making signs for me to go, you know, like me to go now. And I said, no, I'm not going anywhere. I'm a street minister. As, my, <laughs> as if that's going to make a difference. <laughs> I want to make sure she's all right. And I said to her, really bold, I said, are you okay? And she said, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. And uh, so at that point, because she had every opportunity of running away or saying something, and she said, I'm okay. And so I thought, okay, I, I'm, that's it. I've, I've kind of done what I, I, I needed to do. And by this time, I'm, I'm feeling that I'm starting to shake a little bit. So I thought, I better go now. <laughs> so I kind of marches off up the, <laughs> up the road. <laughs> Uh, on the inside, I was David, you know, yes. and this is Goliath. <laughs> on the outside and in my mind, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, what am I taking on here? <laughs> now, you know, give David <laughs> credibility. He was so strong, wasn't he, in what he said. I'm not that strong and uh, I need God and I need to make sure that God is with me all the time. But, you know, being anxious for nothing, I just, something came on me that said, no, you know, you are a child of God and, and you need to step in here. Yeah. Something's going on and you need to step in here. And you hear things in the news where guys come out to a group of, of young kids and they end up beating him up and he dies and gets stabbed or something. And it makes you worry about what you can intervene and, and what you can interfere with and what you can't in today's world. But we have God on our side. And I know that I'm not going to die until God ordains it. So why do I have to worry if my days are in God's hands? If, if it's God's decision when I die, when I get sick, do I worry about the sickness? No, I just pray and say, God, I, I claim your healing. I have an expectancy. I have a faith that God's going to work. And I trust God. And I know that I'm not going to die one day earlier or one hour or one minute earlier than God has planned for my life. <coughs> It's just not going to happen. So I need to be anxious for nothing. But you know, sometimes I'm in my sense realm and I'm in my head instead of in my heart and acting in my faith. 
I'm walking in the spirit. And I just need to connect, as we all do. I just need to change sometimes. And this is what I say to you, that this is, this is an example of what we are or who we are. Uh, to, to not just be outwardly religious, but to actually grasp and get hold of who am I? What is my being? My being is I'm a child of God. And I can come against anything in Christ. Anything. Nothing can stand before me. Anything. One plus God is a majority in any situation. Just the same as David and Goliath. So you may have a Goliath in your life right now. And God may be speaking to you and saying, well, I want you to do something in faith here. I want you to step into your being and not just being religious. But I want you to step into who you really are in Christ. And guess what? The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Many people have been saved <laughs> from mental illness. Many people have been taken out of drug addiction, substance misuse. They've been taken out of it, just, just like that. Yes. By being able to click in to the spiritual laws that we've been told in God's word here, <laughs> that we can stand on God's word that God's word stands like it did for Moses, like it did for Abraham. I mean, God says you're going to have a baby, and he was, you know, 100 years of age, for goodness sake. His wife laughed, thought it was funny. But we can trust God with everything, and that's where our peace comes from. If you don't have peace in your mind, it's because you haven't connected and become in full relationship with God. And the more in relationship you...